good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Mystical Mermaid, y'all. Thank you for coming to my channel. If it's the first time, welcome. If you are returning, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. All right, y'all. Let's get our collective daily guidance on what we need to know. If this reading resonates, please hashtag resonate, okay? All right, we have emotional release. On the bottom here is abundance. So, I'm going to set that right there so I can see it and kind of reference back to it, okay, folks? Hopefully it's not in your way. Um. I feel by releasing something, you guys, it's it's going to come back in your favor. Um, what do we want to use today? Let's use this new deck, the open heart deck that my friend purchased. All right. need to know about that. What does the collective need to know, please? Can be clear and precise. We have the Heart of Pentacles. This is the Queen of Pentacles, okay? <clears throat> so you're definitely about your money, your finances. Um, we have the Chariot to embrace, okay, and um, embrace this forward movement. Look at how that is double-headed. Isn't that interesting? That is a very beautiful card, is it not? We'll look more into these in just a moment. What do we need to avoid with this situation? What does the collective, the lovers, And as I happen to look on the bottom before I get ready to go from here, I see the movement of wands, which is the knot of wands. And it happens to be that fox. Isn't that interesting? What do they feel the collective go next with this? The naked heart. That's what the deck's called, not open heart. It's naked heart. Okay. We also have the Ace of Wands that came out. So it's on the bottom. The three of Pentacles. Appeal. You see that? First thing I noticed that they were going to appeal. Pulling those Pentacles. About broke their backs. All right. So you guys. I feel that with this movement forward, with this chariot, um, it's as if perhaps you're you're with someone, perhaps um. I'm seeing someone come back in towards you. Um, clearly, you're going to have some choices because the lover's here. This does not have to be romantic. Okay, take it how it resonates, folks. Um, you're going to have a decision to make. If you are in a relationship... And this third party is coming towards you. Potential cancer or even well, a lot of fire down here. Um, I feel that you need to do this. This emotional release. Because 
I feel like you're getting where you need to be. I feel like you have struggled and you don't, and you're in this energy, y'all. You're in this Queen of Pentacles energy right now. Whatever this is and whomever this is that's flying in here that you need to avoid, okay? Remember, it's going to be uphill. Do you want to go from owning your power, focusing on your career or your finances or your home, your stability, um, for that uphill battle right there? No, we don't, do we? Let's get some clarity here. Okay. Why do we have the chariot here in the collective's embrace? Why is the chariot here? Give me three cards. Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here? We have the death. The four of cups. And the moon. On the bottom is that three of pentacles again. I kid you not. Okay. Now. You guys. Look at this death card. Look at the flowers that is blooming on his spine. They're rising, honey. Okay? Um, the moon talks about secrets. Okay? Also intuition. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, we have the four cups. That is that offer where um, basically with the four cups, it's like... Um, I don't know. It's a lot of apathy. It's a lot. It, it's being real numb. It's um, not seeing an offer being. Like, you don't see that offer coming down through that, right? Um, or is that the offer you already have? And the rest of them are distractions. You have to use that intuition. But I truly feel that. Someone from your past is coming back in to try to confuse you about something. Why is the lovers here that they need to avoid? Why is the lovers here? Three cards. Why is the lovers here? Justice. Ace of Coins. And Page of Coins. Okay, could be done with that um, earth sign. Um, Libra. And here is the five of cups. See, on the bottom. Someone has remorse, regrets. Someone's up in their feelings. And it's this person right here. Could be younger than you. Okay, so this could be a child. All right, this could be a child coming towards you um, with an apology here. I do have the three of cups, okay, on the bottom. That is celebration. Right underneath that, though, is that eight of cups. Walking away from something. So, is this person coming out of that darkness, going into the light? Um. Down here. I don't know how we end up getting fuller, but justice is going to be served. It was upright. Very much balance here. Whoever this is, 
they're coming in with a stepper and good offer. Okay. And this is going to be your choice here. Whatever this is. Um, you are in that Queen of Pentacles energy. That is um, nurturing. But you need to be, um, what's a good word? You need to stand your ground, but be nurturing with it, okay? Um, follow your intuition with this, folks. Okay, why is the naked heart here in the Ace of Wands? Oh, where'd they go from here? Three cards, please. Why is the naked heart here in the Ace of Wands? We have... The Six of Coins, the Knight of Swords, we deal with that Libra, Gemini, there's the Tower, the Chariot is on the bottom, the Three of Swords is sticking out, oh Lord, okay, so somebody, This could be within your home. Someone's going to get hurt. Whoever this is bringing their gossip and drama here brings the towel or something um, very suddenly here. Okay? Um, doesn't necessarily have to mean that it's bad, you know, bad. We did start with the Six of Coins. Okay? That's definitely you know knowing your truth your feelings how you feel balance okay but with this ace of wands here we've got the knight of swords all right and that person is flying in quick bringing that tower with them and here is the three of swords chariot is on the bottom and I'll say this possibly could be love because here is the ace of coins and see the ten of coins so it definitely could be a family member as well um man so basically today be careful be mindful of your decisions let's get you some advice but I can't leave you with that What is some advice they need? Some advice. Perfect. We have two of Michael, which is the two of swords, a decision. It says, it will all be better if you just make a decision. Over analyzing a problem, find a compromise okay now on the bottom we have the six of Raphael this is the six of cups it says embrace your inner child new friends or rekindled relationships children or childhood and um, oh bar excuse me we have the star underneath that Okay, so this is like a dream coming true here. Or the end of a difficult situation. Believe in yourself. Okay, so something may be coming to an end. Um, perhaps it's this hard uphill battle coming to an end. I, I personally would avoid any choices today. That is what spirit's saying, to avoid choices, or at least be mindful of what choice you make and the reasons why, okay? Um, I 
we have Chelsea that popped out and meditate. And then on the bottom, we have unsupported. So if you're feeling alone, unsupported, more than likely it's because of this jealousy card here. Um, don't let folks walk all over you. I, I feel that someone is. Someone needs to be a lot more assertive, okay? Folks, that's what I've got for you. It's kind of odd, but I went with it, and I pray that it does resonate with someone or gave someone some sort of guidance. Be mindful of your choices, okay? Love one another. Be good to one another. I'll see you next time. Bye.